Hi, I'm Dr. Gaskell. In this activity, we are going to simulate the transport of water and solutes across a semi-permeable membrane. This is pretty much what happens, or similar to what happens in our membrane of our cells. In this activity, we are going to use a dialysis tubing, which is a tubing that allows certain molecules to go through and others not, which simulates pretty well what happens in our cell membranes. We will start by getting a dialysis tubing, which I kept in water just to make it more flexible and easier to deal with. First thing we are going to do with the dialysis tubing is to tie a knot at one of the ends. Okay, so this knot needs to be really tight so there is no leakage coming from it. We will turn to the other end and open it. Once it's open, we're going to get a solution of 10% starch and we're going to put inside of the tubing. We always shake well starch because starch is a very large molecule, so it tends to settle at the bottom of the container. We will pour a quarter to a third of the length of the tubing with the solution of 10% starch. After that, we're going to put the same volume of 10% glucose solution. Also shake. Uh, it's a little easier to dissolve glucose, so it doesn't need to be shaken as much. We'll put this beaker to hold any spills, and we're going to pour, again, a quarter to one third of the volume of the, of the tubing um, of glucose. Next, we are going to get a test tube. We're going to pour deionized water, which is pure water, into the test tube up to half of the volume of the test tube. We'll now rinse the outside of the tubing in order to take any glucose or starch that might have spilled. And we're going to insert the tubing inside of the test tube that has pure water in it. We'll immerse the tubing into the water and we're going to tie the top with a, the rubber band just to secure it in place. And we'll leave it for 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes now. We're going to remove the rubber band. And we're going to remove the dialysis tubing from the test tube. We are going to empty the contents of the dialysis tubing in this clean beaker. I cleaned it. We're going to save that for later. Now we're going to work with the water that was, remember, pure water in the tube. And we're going to split that into two test tubes. And we're going to test them. In one of them, we're going to add IKI or iodine tincture and the other one we're going to add Benedict's reagent. Let's start with the IKI. Look well the color of the solution. And now let's put Benedict in the second test tube. Now we'll take this to heat for three minutes. Now here you can see the results of the water inside of the test tube. Now we're going to get two clean test tubes and we are going to test, do the same testing in the water that was inside of the dialysis tubing, which is here in this beaker. I'm going to divide it into the two test tubes. We we'll add IKI or iodine in the first tube. Notice the color inside of the tube now. And now we're going to add Benedict's to the second tube. 
and we're going to take this tube to heat for three minutes. This tube was heated for three minutes, and here are the results.